Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. Guys, let's jump in. Let's see what your person really wished they could open up and talk to you about that would otherwise be really uncomfortable for them to do face to face. Yes, let's jump in. This is for my Pisces. Let's see whose energy is coming in the strongest. Guys, y'all bear with me. I've got a cold this week coming on and yeah, I sound weird as usual though. <laughs> But a little more weird than usual. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person and your connection. If that doesn't happen with this reading, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I picked up the energy there. It's for my Pisces. Let's see what's going on with your person. Stump in for my Pisces. My Pisces. Mm, bring it a pop. There it goes. Ooh, mysterious. How come I'm not surprised that this one always shows up for my Pisces? Somebody's acting mysterious. Mm hmm. Ooh, bam. Hang on. See what these are. We've got impossible. Somebody's feeling things are impossible and no more excuses. Those two are coming together. Impossible and no more excuses. What else? What else? Talk to us. Right there. Confession. What's hanging out with that? They've got a haunted past. Something about the past that they would really like to talk about. Oh, the energy on that one. Let's see what else we're going to get here. Hmm. That mysterious card may not be your your energy. <laughs> it may be their energy of them acting a little bit mis mysterious. They're thinking in, in, it's impossible. The connection, whatever, and whatever they're wanting to confess. The haunted past. It's going to make things impossible, but they're running out of excuses. <laughs> Of why not to open up and reveal to you. Let's come in on the mysterious. Mmm. Got someone that has sacrificed their dreams, their hopes. Sacrificed, lost something from the past. And they really won't want it back. Mm-hmm. See what else is coming out. Mmm. Coming in on the impossible. There's, there's, uh. This card is about getting away from sources of stress. Sometimes it can be. We're taking a break from each other down to somebody just needs time alone. See what's coming in on uh, no more excuses. No more excuses. Pop. You Pisces. <laughs> Number 33. Y'all can see the little Pisces emblem down here. Pisces sitting back being pretty and allowing things to come to them. Ow. No more excuses of this person sitting back and waiting for you. Waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Trying to look pretty and not taking action on something. So they're definitely wanting to tell us something. It is coming in a confession form. Let's come in on the confession, guys. Talk to us, Pop. Mmm. Putting something behind them. Mm -hmm. But, oh, gosh. Guys, this is about endings and new beginnings. Doors opening, but also the reflection of what was. You'll see the mirror over here. Key is trust. We've got our key with a lock. Mm. Let's do the haunted past. Haunted past. So somebody most definitely wants to open up. But right now they're going through a time of reflection of, ooh, gambling. The lady of fate. Luck. Good luck or bad luck, guys? Cursed or not cursed? Can't tell. Mm, so this person uh, had their past. It was very risky. There, there was risky gambling kind of behavior. And that can be in anything, any area. They could have actually been a gambler. Hold the energy on the deck. Or they just, li you know, lived on the edge. Oh, you know, took things lightheartedly and took a lot of chances on things that oh, probably wasn't very helpful for them. Mm -hmm. But they do feel cursed by that past and they want to put that past behind them. Let's jump into the tarot. We're going to use Hush Tarot. Let's see if we can get a little more detail. Mm. 
A little more detail here. Let's come in. I want to come in on this card. Hmm. Because that card is is about sacrificing something from, from your past. For whatever reason you felt like you had to. But it won't leave you alone. It keeps coming back. The calling keeps coming back. The want, the dream of it keeps coming back. Let's see what that is. New love. It was love that they gave up. Real love. And they have regrets about it. The Five of Pentacles is regrets. The opportunity was there, but they sacrificed and didn't take the opportunity. And they have regrets now. And they were a fool. They were a fool. Hmm. But that coming in, and, you know, you may be mysterious to them also. That mysterious card. I think yes, that's on both both sides. Uh, for some of us, your person may be acting mysterious. And for others of us, because this is insinuating they passed up a chance with you in the past for whatever reasons. They have a lot of regrets. They don't know what's going on with you right now. But they would like to because that full card is, I was a fool, but I'll, I'll be a fool if I can get another chance. Mm-hmm. So see what the impossible is here. Impossible. And that break, taking a break, get put in distance. You got the wheel of karma. Karma. And it's going to come in with that uh, five of pentacles regret card. Mm-hmm. They may have disappeared on us. In a five of wands. Ooh, things were confusing, but also think competition. And... Uh, uh, five of Wands will come out for me when somebody is afraid to tell us uh, how they feel and stuff. It's like what will echo through their mind is, I know you don't give a shit. <laughs> I know you don't want to hear it. I know you don't care anymore. And then we got what? Oh, God, sorry. Oh, yeah, Libra, Queen of Swords. Cold, 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 cold. Hmm. Hmm. So basically, they're not telling me really much about the, the, the getting away, the impossible things were impossible for them, or they felt it was back then, but they know they turned you cold. Let's find out a little bit more on the Five of Swords. Bring that one out. Hierophant. Hierophant. Tradition. Traditional. Being loyal and faithful. Hmm. And that might not have been what they were doing at the time and felt like being in a committed relationship where it required them to be loyal, faithful, and show up and stable. And Eight of Cups, yeah. They hit a... Uh, what they would be saying with those from the past, they were trying to find their way. That everything they had been doing up to that point in the past was emotionally dissatisfying. And they thought there was a lot more to run after. So they couldn't commit out of feeling like there was more, more, more for them out there. Mm. Oh, wow, 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 wow. No more excuses. No more excuses. And mm. Pisces, with that one, I've got what I'm, I'm, I'm getting, the energy coming at me, is this person has, I don't know if they've reached out to you or tried to communicate with you right now. But they have seen you somewhere. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. They have heard something about you. They've seen you. Somehow they've seen you from a distance. And you're looking good. No more excuses. You're, look, you're looking good to them. And they're like, wow. Look what I gave up. Tell me. <laughs> look what I gave up. You a fool. You a fool. Because you be glowing right now. And, and somehow they have heard something seen, and seen from a distance. Because I get a feeling the person hasn't actually reached out to the majority of us yet. Let's see what's coming in on that. Justice card. Oh, they deserved it. They, des they deserve to see you looking so pretty, glowing up, uh, sitting back, relaxed, not worried about them. They deserve the karma. <laughs> They feel like they deserve it because it's like I was a fool. I was an absolute fool here. Mm -hmm, look what I gave up. Mm, yeah. Justice card truth. 
truth and finding that balance and but the justice card does bring in karma so the person feels like it's karma let's see what they're going to bring in on this confession and wanting to put the past and start new what else are they bringing in on that talk to us on that it's my pisces person oh uh, they really want to communicate to us Ooh, and what I'm picking up off this Gemini Knight of Swords, because, you know, Gemini Knight of Swords is about fast-moving energy, communications, all of our swords are. But what I'm really picking up is this person would really, and if they have an opportunity, they would want to talk to us face-to-face -face about this mm -hmm, and what happened about their sneaky behavior about I really want to take back what I stole from myself because look what I gave up oh my god uh, seven seven of swords is card of opposition thievery uh, makes you want to you know you want back what you took you know what, what was taken from you and sometimes it's we wake up to I was my own thief I stole my own heaven and happiness from myself Ooh, and Page of Pentacles, there is standstill energy right now trying to get clear about things. And like I said, they're seeing you from a distance. That, yeah, and they're like, oh my God. Mm. How, it, this would be them analyzing and being real, trying to be grounded, real, and practical. And, but also looking, she's pointing at her eyes, guys. <laughs> looking for an opportunity to actually communicate with you. Mm -hmm. Ooh. let's come in on the haunted past and the lady of fate am I going to get lucky I'm going to get lucky and get that opportunity is it going to open up for me what is it meant to be they praying it is <laughs> yes they praying it is ow they feel disappointed in their self they, uh, that's a card of grieving of loss uh, feeling left behind yeah but they are praying. The one thing that's popping is her in prayer mode. Oh, please, universe. Then we've got a Knight of Cups, Pisces. There you are. They're praying for a chance with my Pisces. But it's also wanting to come at us with their heart and be authentic to, to put their self in that vulnerable position. Uh, take a chance to, you know, get hurt. <laughs> but hurt. And, yeah, they have an anxiety about it, a lot of stress and worry. But it, they can't get it off their mind with the Nine of Swords. You're obs something is obsessively in your thoughts. So, we've definitely got somebody wanting to come back at us. They want an opportunity to open up. Please, the you know, universe, bring it to me. Because uh, they, they're willing to talk about this face-to-face. -face. Anything you want to know, they're willing to willing to answer any question in an authentic, vulnerable way. Just so they will know, did I ruin it forever? And they probably already feel like they did. Let's go ahead and get on talking, guys. We're going to use Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Speak, Mirror, and Dialogue. We're starting off with the passive side, the feminine side of the deck. That is not uh, gender, guys. It's the energy. Then I'll close this off with uh, the masculine side of the deck. Give me a minute to get out a stack for us because I fumble with these. Mm hmm. It's for my Pisces. Pop. That one don't want to let go. There's one standing. What else? That one don't want to let go. There, yeah, both of them. Okay. Ooh, dang. Anything else? Anything else? Bring it out. Pop. Yep. Ooh. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's see what we've got here, guys. Let's get on talking. You we got a stack. Big time. I haven't felt this way about anyone else ever. Uncharted territory. Ooh, Pisces. I dream of you. I wasn't sure how my life would change if we continued the connection. I'm hiding the way I truly feel. I'm, it's almost like they're saying it in past tense. Uh, I hid my true feelings from you about how I truly felt about you. I'm trying to do this with my head, not my heart. Do you feel the same as you once did, or have I missed my chance? 
Are you going to reject me? Are you mad? I've had a sudden realization about my life and about our connection. Have I waited too long? Did I lose you? I hope I still have a chance with you. I realize I was selfish. I feel ashamed of that. You made me feel something. This was confusing. I thought I could walk away and forget all about you and this like I've walked away from many others. I learned so much from you. Thank you. You guys have got a hair on me. thought I had a spider for a minute. <laughs> the way we triggered each other felt too painful and I didn't understand at the time. Mm. Let's go ahead and get them to close this off, guys. Let me get this energy up on this deck. Pisces person. Close this off. Pop. Let me get a stack. Ooh, is it both? Just that one, not that one. Okay. What else? Pop. Ooh. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's see what we've got. I wish you would return to me. Ooh. I know that triggering is part of this journey. It's no fun. But it's a perspective and opportunity for healing rather than automatic victim mode. I long to feel your arms around me. I have options and opportunities, but I still don't want anyone else. No one else is you. I feel like this is a game to you. I can't feel you like I used to anymore, but when I do, I miss you so much it hurts. I wasn't looking for anything like this, but I surrendered to it rather than run. I wanted to run, but I didn't. That may be in present tense, guys, because I kept wanting to stall and put it into present tense. Like, I want to run, but I can't. Uh -huh. In my heart, I'm waiting for you. I'm trying to move forward, but I'm waiting. Yeah, most definitely. Doing something is better than doing nothing at all. The silence hurts. Let's take a chance. Let's take a chance. And last one, guys. I, I sometimes still dream of you. You're in my dreams. I dream of you. Pisces, that's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings, as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I see you again next time. Bless be.